In this video, we'll look at how we can view logs or log files in an Ubuntu Linux machine. Now, most of the logs in uh, Ubuntu can be located under the var slash log folder. So let's go ahead and cd to that folder. Now we'll do ls. As you can see here, there's quite a few uh, log files ending with dot log. However, it's worth pointing out that some of the applications have their own folders where they put their logs. For instance, the Apache web server has its own folder with the logs. So you'll have to see it into this folder. If maybe you're running into errors and you wanted to look at the logs, let's just go ahead and see into it. And in here, you see that we have the error.log folder. And you can just cut to view the log. And that's how you would view those logs. Let's see the back. Now, there's different log files in here. So some of the ones we'll look at is the, the main ones we can look at is the authentication logs under auth.log. Then you have your system logs under uh, syslog. Now to view the logs, there's different commands. You can use the less command, the cat command. Uh, let's, for instance, say less auth.log. And that should show us the logs in that file. Now let's say you wanted to view the newest. You can use another command like tail. So we can say tail and then auth.log. That should give us the newest uh, logs. And if you wanted to just refresh the logs, you can use dash F. So let's just go ahead and uh, use that with the the auth.log will do a refresh. So what we'll do is we'll open another terminal here. So we'll try to log in with the wrong password. Let's say sudo su and put in the wrong password. And as you can see here, that that did generate a, a log for us. So let's go ahead and look at the syslog uh, logs. We can use again less. And that gives us the syslog logs. And we can also do a refresh on that as well. Now, as you will see, this since mostly these are system logs, if you have like a authentication log, it might not show here. Uh, if we go ahead and uh, use the tail command on this, let's use tail-f on syslog. And here you can see that the, the log message we got with the authentication log is not showing here. So depending on what kind of logs you're looking for, you might have to look in a different uh, file for those logs. Now another tool we have for checking logs is the journal CTL tool. And this one, we can use it to view system log, user logs, and it, it even shows us uh, authentication logs. So let's go ahead here and uh, Look at the options available to us under system CTL. So there's quite a few options that we can use. You have the system dash dash system uh, dash dash user for user logs. And then we also have the dash F, which is kind of like a refresh. And then reverse, which will show us the newest entries. Now let's just go ahead and do journal CTL. Now we can just look at the system logs. We can also look at the user logs. Okay. So let's look at the user logs and do uh, dash R. So that way it shows us the newest logs. And in this case, the authentication failure is actually showing under journal CTL. So we're getting the same authentication log that we got with the other uh, log file, the auth.log file. We are also getting that log here, log messaging under journal CTL. Now, the difference between the auth.log and the 
journal CTL is that journal CTL's logs are not persistent, they're not permanent. So once you do a reboot, you won't be able to see them. It's not the same thing as the actual log files like uh, syslog.log and uh, auth.log that actually store those logs for you. We also have an option to do um, refresh or to follow the logs as they come in using journal CTL, which is by, if we use the option dash F, we'll get those as well. So let's run the command again. And this time, let's do dash F. Actually, we can just do dash F to capture all the logs here. And it's, this is dash F, which is refreshing the logs. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, another wrong password here. And as you can see, that error message was generated for three incorrect attempts. So three incorrect password attempts, uh, TTY, and it's showing you for user root and even the command that was run. So that's pretty much it. Those are the different ways that you can check your logs. Again, they, there's different locations or different files that contain log files, depending on what you're looking for. You might want to look around uh, before you can actually find the particular logs you want. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.